Hi there, this is the floor McKenna strap in the floor McKenna system of the English opening and it's named after the famous Czechoslovakian Salo Fleur and the Lithuanian Vladas Mikenas. White plays the English with c4, black knight f6 and knight c3. Black here can play almost anything but we're looking at this line e6. But this does allow white to play e4, the most popular continuation for white in this position. Now white is threatening to play e5, so d5, black has a go at the centre as well. But it does allow e5, and black will counter with d4, this tit-for-tat type of chase variation, similar to a variation in the Alekhine defence. After taking on f6, and black takes on c3, White does best to capture the pawn on c3, so b takes on c3. Black will now take the pawn on f6 with the queen. And now white seizes the center with d4, all logical moves. Black here has to counter somehow, and the most popular moves would be perhaps b6 to play bishop b7 and then c5, or the immediate c5 is also fine for black, or the text move here, e5. Well, after knight f3 and then the capture on d4 e takes on d4 and well sorry instead of c takes on d4 white gains time by playing bishop g5 hitting the queen first the queen runs aside to e6 putting the white king in check and after bishop e2 this is still a popular position well black might consider this move although it's not particularly good, d3. If that pawn was going anyway, well, why not just give it up? d3, hitting now the bishop on e2. Well, the truth is here, white could actually capture the pawn, queen takes on d3, and uh, keep an advantage. However, white might consider this move, this trappy move, castling, because now white is firmly in the ascendancy, because if black captures the bishop with d takes on e2, then he's going to fall victim for a very cheap checkmate with queen d8 checkmate. So this has been the floor McKenna's trap in the floor McKenna's system of the English opening. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.